In this episode, we're going to talk about Bedbug Central's 10th anniversary. I feel like I need like party balloons and streamers and stuff. But uh, we're going to talk about where we've been, where we are now, and where things are going. everybody, it's Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about, believe it or not, the 10th anniversary of Bedbug Central. Um, yeah, it's been a long, you know, crazy ride here. But um, what I want to do with this episode is talk about a little bit about where we've been, what we've learned, and uh, where the whole Bedbug topic is going uh, in the coming years. Uh, and so first and foremost, I want to uh, give a shout out and a thank you to all of my Bedbug TV viewers that are probably watching this. Um, you know, we launched Bedbug TV in, in October of 2008. Uh, the original vision was to educate, you know, Mrs. Johnson, who's on YouTube trying to learn about bedbugs because, God forbid, she just found bedbugs in her house and she's freaking out. And she's reading all this terrifying information on Dr. Google that she's never going to be able to get rid of the problem. And the vision was I wanted to provide good, accurate information that was in a lighthearted, relaxing fashion. That is, listen, you know, Dr. Google is wrong, unfortunately, more often than people like to think. And, you know, you can get rid of this problem, and this is how you do it. And so, you know, four million viewers later, um, which is where we're at right now, you know, here we are. You know, and, and thank you to everybody who's watched. Thank you to all the emails I've received thanking me for the, for the videos and how much it's helped them and, and all the questions I've received through the years, which is also great. You know, the interaction has been awesome. Um, but the bottom line is thank you to all four million of you and uh, hopefully you know we, we keep this train rolling. Uh, I'll be honest, you know we don't put up as many videos as we did let's say five, ten years ago. Um, bed bugs are a limited topic. you know there's only so many videos we can shoot. you know when you watch guys doing videos like this on you know wine or business or other topics like that, there really are you know limitless types of videos. Um, unfortunately, bedbugs is a limited topic. There's only so many videos I can shoot uh, that are truly impactful to the viewer. And so we don't put up as many videos as we did once upon a time, but it doesn't mean you're not going to see videos here and there from me as new things emerge. Uh, and so what I want to do is talk about Bedbug Central real quick. You know, bedbugcentral.com was launched in actually 2008 as well. Um, and it was originally launched to educate the consumer. Um, again, Mrs. Johnson, who's suffering from bed bugs. In 2008, there weren't a ton of really good, accurate websites out there. And so we saw an opportunity to launch something that could really impact people. Um, and when we launched it, you know, we were selling a few products that we thought were effective for bed bug control. Now, listen, you know, a lot of people have criticized, you know, been like, you're an educational website. And, you know, how can you sell products? That's a conflict of interest, this, that, and the other. Well, it takes, you know, people and time and money to run a website and put all this information up there. And so we have to generate some revenue to do that, to, to offset those costs. And so revenue generation was never really a focus for us, but it was something, of course, every company has to do to offset its expenses. And so, you know, we launched in 2008 as a consumer education and small, you know, product sales site. And quickly in 2009, we identified that the pest control industry is using the site to educate themselves on bed bugs. There was uh, not a ton of information being provided at that point on bed bugs. There were some, but not as much as there probably needed to be. And a lot of people were coming to the website in the pest control industry and saying, hey, can you guys you know, teach us on, on your approaches to bed bugs and your thoughts on bed bugs? Sure. And so 2009, we quickly evolved into not just a consumer education entity, but also a pest control you know, educational entity. And uh, that's when my travel begins in terms of training the industry. And, you know, over the last 10 years, I've now traveled, I think, to 42 different U.S. states. Um, I've been all over the world. You know, not as much international travel as probably some people think, but I have done some international here and there. Um, and the bottom line is, is that, you know, we really have established ourselves as a, as a go-to when it comes to bed bug education and how to, how to treat bed bugs properly. Um, and so what we quickly learn, and again, just real quick to wrap up this topic, is that, you know, again, as we grow as an educational entity, we realize, you know, we needed to try to generate some more revenue. And um, what we identified was that there were some niches in the industry for some products that weren't being filled. And we went out and basically innovated Sensei Blackout, which is a bed under the leg bed bug monitor 
Sensei Volcano, which is a standalone bed bug monitor, and Sensei Active, which is a bed bug lure that was designed at Rutgers University that we license and, and sell. And so over the last, let's say, five years, you know, we have innovated those products and we sell them both to consumers uh, through the website, through Amazon, through other entities, as well as to the pest control company. Uh, pest control in industry, I should say, and so through different distributors in the industry. Uh, the pest control industry is our focus, and so I don't want to, you know, stress the consumer, you know, sales as, as, a, as a focus for us. Um, but obviously we have people who come and, and watch videos and say, hey, I need that monitor, where do I get it from? And we can't direct consumers to, you know, a, a pest control distributor. And so, again, you know, that's kind of where we're at today, where we do, you know, we have innovated and sell a few monitors, but really we're still very focused on education. And that's why I'm talking to you today. And then where are things going? Um, it's interesting, you know, I mean, have bed bugs changed over the last 10 years? Absolutely, they have. You know, we know that they've continued to spread across the country. We know they're not going away anytime soon. We have seen the pest control industry get dramatically better at treating for them. I think there's a lot of really good companies out there these days. I think you can absolutely get rid of bed bugs in a fairly efficient fashion, especially if you identify it early on. And we're seeing some new things hit the market. You know, there's some videos out there on a, a dust called Cymexa, which uh, has had a great impact on bed bug treatment. There's a new product out there called Apprehend um, that, you know, is also showing some very positive things when it comes to bed bugs. Now, do I think any of these products are going to make bed bugs go away? No, I do not. Um, so I do anticipate this issue, unfortunately, you know, going on. You know, a lot of people see my face and they say, Jeff, I like you as a person, but I hate talking to you because if I'm talking to you, it means I have a bed bug problem. And that's where we're at. And so I get it. Um, and unfortunately, I have a feeling you're probably going to still see my face for the, for the foreseeable future because I don't see this problem going away. But we are seeing new tools hit the market that are impacting the problem. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of where I see things going. You know, a lot of your primary cities have been dealing with this, you know, problem for a while now. Your secondary cities are really starting to see this ramp up. And I think you're going to see that trend continue on. I, I don't see this problem going away anytime soon but I do see good effective solutions being out there, especially for problems that are identified in a reasonable fashion. Anytime you encounter a problem that has thousands of bed bugs, whether you understand or not how it got there and how it became that bad, it is. And when that happens, those are complicated to get rid of. But if you identify it early on, we do have the tools to get rid of it in an efficient fashion. And so that's kind of an overview of where we've been and where we're going. Um, I want to thank everybody again, all the people that have watched Bedbug TV, all the people that have visited bedbugcentral.com, you know, all the people that have purchased any monitors that we manufacture. Thank you for that. Um, and basically, everybody who's interacted with us through the years. You know, we've learned a ton, and obviously, we still have a ton to learn. Um, so if you have any questions about anything, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And I hope to see everybody 10 years from today. <laughs>